What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another wig workshop. Today, I have this uphill battle of a wig to make. This hair was sent to me by a client, and she requested that I try and correct this color job. I don't know who did it for her, but they did her wrong. And we're gonna try and fix that and make this hair beautiful and wearable. Well, as close to that as we can get, so. This is what I turned out, if you guys are wondering how it turned out. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments, how you feel about, you know, this final result. But yeah, I'm on the fence about it. I would love to hear what your opinions are. So anyway, let's jump into this video. Okay guys, so to do this, you're definitely gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need a mixing bowl, a color brush, and a tail comb. You're also gonna need a brush of some kind. Um, I use this paddle brush, but you can also use a detangling brush or just whatever you have around. You're gonna need some foils. Um, I use that to bleach these very dark parts of the bundles. You're gonna need some saran wrap and just any heavy object that you can use to hold down the bundles while you're working. Um, if you have someone available to help you, just ask them to help you or use table clamps if you have those. You're gonna need bleach powder. I use this Dixo Blonde um, powder by Dixon's and it's straight up my favorite bleach powder. And I mix that with the um, 20 volume developer also by Dixon's. And you guys, that is my go-to formula I love them um, so I start off by just covering up my ankle weights with saran wrap so they don't get you know bleach on them if someone is helping you just make sure that they also wear gloves and you should also wear gloves because bleach is a very very strong product and it will burn through anything you know so I start off by mixing my bleach powder and developer um, I don't measure it anymore because at this point I pretty much have this down to, you know, an exact science in my head. But if this is your first time bleaching hair, definitely read all the instructions because it matters. If you get this wrong, I don't know what will happen, but it won't be good. So just make sure you read, you know, the instructions and you know what you're doing before you start doing it. Um, so the first thing that you do or what I'm doing <laughs> is sectioning off any parts that have basically not been bleached. Like some of these sections, as you can tell, are almost black. So the, pa the bleach work is very patchy and very uneven. And you wanna try and even that out as much as you can. So for that to happen, you need to lift the darkest parts of these bundles first and make sure that those lift um, to as close as possible to where all the other hair is. The whole, you know, all the hair is just extremely, extremely patchy and even and uneven. So this is just gonna be me trying to salvage these bundles as much as I can, but it's definitely not gonna be, you know, perfect. <laughs> I'm not trying to lie, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be as close to that as I can get it, so. Yeah, I just keep doing that over and over again until I've done all the bundles and then when I get to the frontal, I'll I'll tell you what to do next. For now, let's just, I'm gonna keep quiet and let you guys enjoy this video.
this point, I go in and I find the parts of the bundles that are still pretty dark, but are not as dark as the black parts that are now sitting in foils, and I apply bleach to those sections. Um, some of the sections are actually still pretty dark, but they'll still lift enough to blend in with the rest of the hair. So it's okay if you missed one or two spots, as long as you, you got as many of the patches as possible, you should be okay. Um, yeah, so then I just move on and I bleach what's left of the still very dark hair um, with what's left of um, the bleach mixture. Okay, so the next step is to try and remove some of this box dye from the frontal. Um, so the, I mix the same f um, bleach to developer ratio as before. Um, same creamy consistency the whole nine yards, but this time I go in with shampoo and I add a little bit of shampoo to it and I make a bleach wash. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet down the frontal and I'm gonna start applying the bleach wash, starting at the darkest part of the frontal of course because that's going to take the longest time to process. So start there and give that a couple of minutes to lift before you do anything else. Um, it might look like I just did all this in one go in the video, but I actually did give it some time in between. So give it a good 10 minutes in between before you move on to the lighter parts of the funnel. Okay, so I'm done washing and shampooing out all the bleach from the bundles and the frontal. So now I'm gonna move on to toning the hair. Um, I'm gonna get into toners and colors and all of that in a separate video on a separate day because I feel like that's a whole thing within of itself. But um, what I did right now is I mix two different shades of toner so that I can get some dimension in the wig. You know what I mean? Just so it's not one flat color, like you still want it to look alive, you know?
Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and I constructed the wig and I also just gave it a cute little layered haircut because the hair is pretty thin and, you know, there's very little I can do about that. So I just cut some layers into it to give it a little bit of movement and I flat ironed the hair as well so, you know, it would be smooth. But the client did request that I do something a little bit more edgy and, you know, Beyonce-esque so I went ahead and did that. And this is the final result. If you guys like how this wig turned out, remember to like this video, comment and subscribe, and also share this video with your friends because we need to get these numbers all the way up. Thank you so much for watching. Peace!